شكرا يا ربي شكرا هديت قلبي شكرا When a person gets married one of the things that he or she looks forward to after the honeymoon inshallah is to have children and one of the biggest tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the following and before i say it let me tell you when you understand that Allah has chosen for you a specific package of tests that is uniquely yours not anyone else's he knows that he issues sabr and patience according to the package that he's given you to you you can never be burdened with something beyond what you can cope with because Allah has promised that he will give out to you the amount of sabr and patience that you actually need for your package that he already knows about so don't say i can't cope yes it gets to a level where perhaps you might want to do something about it you know people think that when we speak about marriage you need to stay in an oppressive marriage because allah says he won't burden you with something that you cannot cope with that doesn't mean you need to remain in an oppressive marriage all it means is when it gets to beyond a certain point you can choose another way out that allah has allowed you to that's what it means you can so let's not misinterpret what is being said but what i mean is when there are things you have no control over at all there is no way allah will open your door of sabr according to your problem according to your issue you lose a loved one for example or the main issue that i wanted to start with is and i said one of the biggest problems one of the biggest tests that allah tests a couple with is when they do not have offspring when they don't have offspring that is your paradise that is your Jannah. Allah says, hang on. I know exactly why I am not giving you offspring. You might not know. I know why I'm not giving you. And I'm telling you, this is the biggest test for you. And if you were to bear sabr, I want to let you know that I will be with you. My help is with you. And at the same time, for you is Jannah. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ Indeed, Allah compensates those who have engaged in any form of sabr. Unlimited reward. In an unlimited manner, Allah gives you so much. So my mothers and sisters, if from amongst you there will definitely be people who don't have children and you desperately want those children and yes it is correct Allah will keep you there for as long as he wills and he may grant you a miracle according to what you perceive is a miracle and if you don't get what you perceive is a miracle you need to know that what he has done for you is always a miracle you need to know this when Allah doesn't give you what you want you need to know he's always done whatever he wanted that was the miracle for you you may not understand it i know of people who've had children after a long long time and then they lost their children to a motor vehicle accident and i remember being told i wish i didn't have these children in the first place well when you didn't have them you continued to cry about it well there is no harm you are supposed to become closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he tests you with not giving you what you want it's think about what i've just said if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not given you what you want one of the reasons is he wants you to draw closer to him by calling out to him alone that's what it is if every one of us had whatever we wanted i think a lot of us would not even be reaching out calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I think we would be dilly-dallying in our acts of worship. But when you have a problem, it's a medical issue, it's a social issue, it's a financial issue, whatever issue it may be, you start calling out to Allah. Your heart becomes softened. It should become softened. And this is why I say, and I'm repeating, if you don't have children, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon this, the many things that you do have and continue asking. I'm not saying sit back and say, look, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to do anything. I don't want to seek perhaps medical advice. I don't want to see if there's anything wrong. I don't want, and I'm just going to sit because I'm a mu'mina and I've been told that you just need to be happy with the decree of Allah. That 
is a warped understanding of taqdeer, of predestiny. Warped. Allah says, do whatever is in your capacity to, to achieve what is beneficial for you according to you. Ihris ala ma yanfa'uk. Make sure that you go the extra mile to do that which you believe is beneficial for you. Then, ista'in billahi wa la ta'jaz. Seek the help of Allah and don't be lazy. And then when something happens to you, the hadith says, wa in asabaka shay' la taqul law anni fa'altu kana kadha wa kadha fa inna law taftahu baba shaytan When something finally does happen this way or that way, don't ever go back to blame the term if, if, if I did this, had I done this, this would have happened. If I did this, that would have happened. Don't say that because the if opens the door of the devil. That's what it means. You did it and that's it. I tried my best. I continued making dua, but I'm happy upon what Allah has chosen for me. That's something that I need to understand. So those who don't have children, may Allah bless you with children. Those who don't have offspring, may Allah bless you with offspring. Then mashallah, we are blessed. Mashallah. And what happens? Five years later, eight years later, ten years later, I know of a case 18 years later, mashallah, when people almost lost hope and Allah says, hey, I'm going to give you something. And suddenly you're expecting and suddenly you have a child and suddenly it's a boy or it's a girl. And mashallah, we're so excited. Life changes and everything becomes so exciting. That's the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, isn't it? At the same time, my mothers and sisters, there is another way Allah tests. And what is that? By giving you another child. Oh, so how is that a test of the same gender? Subhanallah. So now there's a new problem. What's the problem? I have a child, but that child is the same gender as the previous one. So, oh. People are not happy. Allah says in the Quran, amazingly, that He creates as He wishes. لِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ يَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ إِنَاثًا وَيَهَبُ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ الذُّكُورِ أَوْ يُزَوِّجُهُمْ ذُكْرَانًا وَإِنَاثًا وَيَجْعَلُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ عَقِيمًا Allah, to Him belongs everything on earth and in heaven. For Him is the ownership of what is in the skies and on earth. He creates as He wishes. He gives whomsoever He wishes, only females. And He gives whomsoever He wishes, only males. And He gives whomsoever He wishes, both male and female. And for some whom He desires not to give offspring, He will give neither male nor female. That's Allah. That's His plan. So you have one child, you are happy. You have another child, if it's the same gender, you are sad. That's what happens. That is the test of Allah. Do not be sad. I want to inform you of a major sin. A major sin is to become upset at the gender of the child that you have been bestowed with. Especially if it is a female. Why especially if it is a female? Because that is expressly mentioned in the Quran. The kuffar at the time of the Prophet wasallam, just the pre-Islamic era, those kuffar, they had a major issue. What was the issue? They only wanted males. I think this is creeping in to society today again. And it has been rearing its ugly head now and again. People only want males. Female, in some countries they will abort. The moment they find out it's a female. Because they become upset. And for this reason, many verses have been revealed. Take a look at Surat Kuwirat, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks of how those who used to bury their daughters alive, there was a pagan habit that as soon as a child was born, at that time there was no ultrasound to figure it out. Otherwise, they would have dealt with it earlier. 
As soon as they figured out or they saw the child is born female, the father would take the child, dig a pit, bury the child alive, forget about it and carry on. What happens to the child? I'm not bothered. I don't want a female. That's how bad it was. And when Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was sent, he made it clear that daughters are special. Very clear. He made it very clear that if you get upset when you are informed of the fact that Allah has bestowed you with the gift of a child being a female, then you've engaged in a major sin just by becoming upset. So be careful. Yeah.